have three orchids. One of them, the one on the right, is in need of an urgent repot. And I can tell you that it won't be an easy process. So I brought in the whole family for support. Because it's true. These three species are family. Let's see then. Here, Neofnetia falcata, recently renamed Vanda falcata. This specific plant was recently repotted and she's responding very well. Lots of new roots are emerging. This one, or not exactly this one, but the one like this one, was the seed parent to the crossing in question. The pollen parent was uh, this one here, Rhynchostylis gigantea, or Rhynchostylis gigantea. This one has been in bloom for quite some time, but uh, the blooms are fading now. This species, Rhynchostylis gigantea, has different color forms in the market, but coincidentally, I happen to have the color form used in this crossing. And finally, we have here the descendant, the result of the um, crossing of the two species previously mentioned. And this is a small Vanda that was named Vanda Costilis Pink or Vanda Costilis Pink, also known by some as Neostylis pink. She has been in bloom for quite some time, but the blooms are over now, which is a good thing, because um, I'm so anxious to see what's in the pot and see if I can, um, if there is a way to save that root underneath the pot. Curiously, as it happens sometimes, she came out of the pot at one point and uh, went in again, looking for moisture. Uh, so it won't be easy to, to save it, especially because this root is so much larger than the holes in the pot. Before I do anything, I'm going to put the, the plant to soak for a while, and uh, I'll be back after that. So there it is, my Vanda Costilis just came out of the water. She has this very long root outside of the pot, which I have been training. It's an aerial root, but I've been training it to accept water. And um, it is being watered every day since I bought this plant last March. All other roots are inside the pot. But um, my main uh, problem is this root that uh, is um, here below, and I want to save it. The holes in the pot are very tiny in comparison to the, to the root, so I don't know if I can do something, but... I'm hopeful. I'm cutting the holes around. I don't want to get too close to the root, don't want to harm it. Well, it's not going to be easy. The plastic here is quite hard 
and I can cut it anyway, but uh, not getting close to the root. Mm. Well, I guess I'm going to do something else. I'm going to cut the bottom of the pot. And um, maybe from there it will be easier. The plastic that, that uh, seemed to be so hard, close to the root, it's easy to cut like this. And. Uh, Soon, the roots will be out. A little bit more. Guess it, there it goes. Well, this, um, plant has been in this spot for ages. There's hardly any medium. And um, there's something green here. I suspect it's algae, not moss. Algae. Well, but I still have my root here. With a few more cuts, I'll get there. Not yet. A little bit more. We have to have patience with these things and go easy, find the best way. Well, this one's done, one to go. Almost there. And not yet. And that's that. That's done. Okay, let's see what we have here now. Yeah. I'm in doubt. I don't know if this is moss or algae. It 
doesn't smell bad exactly. It smells earthy. Let me put some alcohol in the, the, the pair of scissors because there's here just two roots I need to take off. All the other roots are good. Just the, the ones, the two ones in the center are sort of mushy. The rest of them, they seem all right. are so embedded in this material I'm not sure if this is wood or charcoal it's so hard it might be charcoal which ones was wood see This um, orchid must have been in this pot for quite some time. I don't uh, like um, that uh, good, uh, that uh, long root to be pendant that way. It's not very comfortable to water and not very appealing to the side just one root bending like that but it's a very good root so I must uh, find a way of um, keeping them together to be easier to wash to, to water These are the only two roots that are not good. I guess I must leave all these pieces attached to the roots. I don't want to harm them. Look, more algae. Look at the size of it. I'm going to give it a wash. And uh, this is all I can do. As you can see, the roots are okay. They are quite hard. But none of these pieces wants to come out, and I'm not going to force it. Mm, this is a very big root. And I'm going to put it in a mesh pot. Ooh, and I want to put the big root in. As I said, although it's an aerial root. I've been training it to accept water since March. So she's quite used to get humidity. Let me see now. Just clean this up. Just putting this in the back. And 
and um, I have these spots here. This is too big. And I have these two here. And I have this one. This one is quite good. Let's see. I like this one because it has plenty of variation, but um, it's too small because I want to put the big root inside as well. I guess this is too small. What do you think? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I want to put the root inside. So, this, yeah, this one will be better. This one will have space for the big root inside. It will be much easier to water and to keep the plant hydrated. Okay, let's find a way so that um, the big root won't break. Okay, I guess it looks good. Yeah, what do you think? Nice, isn't it? And I'm going to put some um, charcoal and some um, orchata bark. Just a few pieces. Some charcoal. And some orchata. These um, pots are wonderful because um, they allow so much aeration around the roots. That's why I can put some of this um, charcoal and um, the archaeata bark so that I don't have to water it every day. Anyway, I, must, I will have to do it every other day now. Maybe we'll, I will have to water every day in the summer. But I'll, I shall see. Looks good. looks good. I'm going to hang it. For the time being, she will be in the house, but um, when other orchids, when I bring the other orchids outside, she will come outside with the and I'm so happy I could save that root because every good root is um, precious. And so this operation was a success. I hope you have enjoyed it. And 
and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.